and carry. So this is what we own. Hey, D, listen to your OG. That's all. That's all I'm going to well, say. Well, that shit killed me, bro. He said he ain't touched the rock. I ain't going to do that. Go in the lab and get your shit right. There's no way he's probably not top 10, top 5 in this game. Come on, man. That's all I'm going to say. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachahak Wadash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barachahak Wadash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathathi from Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And I'm um, not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet, but um, I played a clip of uh, Kevin Garnett, which uh, 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 we call KG. You know, uh, he calls himself KG, which, um, you know, brothers who are basketball fans, you know, in my opinion, uh, top five power forward, you know, uh, uh, to ever play, you know, and he made a statement. That it killed him to hear that uh, uh, Anthony Davis, which 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 he called himself AD, didn't touch the basketball, man. That's what he meant by by he, you didn't touch the rock, like bro, you're not practicing, you know. Because when you go into the mentality of the greats, the mentality of men who uh, um, achieved the you know that the or reached the highest uh, pinnacle of their of their craft, they had a certain dedication to themselves, man. You know, they had a certain commitment. They had a, 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 a certain discipline. They had a certain passion. They had a, cer a certain maturity about themselves, man. And what did Paul tell us, right? This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. It says, Know ye not they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And everyone that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now that word temperate goes back into discipline pretty much, man. It says to be self-controlled, to, ex to exhibit self-government conduct, one self-temperately. And a figure drawn from athletes who in preparing themselves for the games, abstain from unwholesome food, wine, and sexual indulgence. To exercise self-restraint. You see that? So that's discipline, man. That's what the word temperate goes into, right? It says, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. Yeah, the NBA championship. The NBA MB, uh, MVP. The Lombardi trophy. The NFL, uh, uh, you know, championship, man. So forth and so on, right? They do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, man. Because when I heard KG say, man, that killed me, man. He, I, I, when I heard him say he ain't touched the rock. Well, the first thing that popped in my mind, The Rock, right? And I ain't talking about that gay-ass nigga <laughs> that used to wrestle. You know, one of my favorite actors, by the way, but that nigga is gay. This second uh, Samuel 22 and 3, it says, The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence, man. You know, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai is our rock, man. Right? I think it's Deuteronomy. Let's see. Yep, Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a power of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. And there's another one. It says, uh, except their, uh, except their rock. Yep. Deuteronomy 32 and 30. How should one chase a thousand and two put 10,000 to flight? Right. How do these heathen got rulership over us, man? How are these heathen, uh, uh, uh um, you know, uh, dominating us, right? Except their rock being Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah had sold them and the Lord had shut them up. You see? So the Lord gave us into the, uh, these devil's hands. But the point being is that he's our rock. So going back to the statement that, that, that KG made. Bro, it killed, he said, what? It killed me when I, when, when, when I heard he didn't touch the rock. He's talking about a basketball, but applying that to the faith, man. For Jake to say they believe in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, or Jake to call themselves Israelites and you ain't touched the book. You ain't prayed. 
You ain't talk to the Lord. You ain't watched a lesson. You ain't meditated on the Lord's word. <laughs> right. All those different things that keeps us in the spirit, man. What did Peter? Uh, uh, matter of fact, let me keep reading this. And um, let me go here real quick. Yep. Back in first Corinthians nine and twenty six. So it says, I therefore so run not as uncertainly. Not as uncertainly. We, we, we know we, we know what we doing this for, man. What did the Lord tell us? He said that our, our, our labor is not in vain, man. He said that I will never leave thee nor forsake thee if we're doing what's right in his sight, man. That's that incorruptible crown that we're, that, 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 that we're chasing. It says, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Yeah, man, we know exactly what we're fighting for, right? It says, this is the condition of the battle. Man, matter of fact, let me get that. This is the book of uh, Second Edra 7. And 57. It says, Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. That if he be overcome, if you let this flesh overcome you, right? You ain't got that discipline. You ain't got that commitment. You ain't got that passion. You ain't got that maturity. You ain't got that commitment. Right. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. But if he get the victory, if he show forth that passion, the word passion means suffering, man. See, those guys suffer for their craft. Going back into this, it said what? First Corinthians nine and twenty seven. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest. That by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Now, when you go into this Greek word for keep under, it says to beat black and blue to smite so as to cause bruises and livid spots. Like a boxer, one buffets his body, handle it roughly, discipline by hardships, man. <laughs> you see? Discipline by hardships. So going back to this, it says what? But if he get the victory... We get the victory through what? Through discipline, through passion, through those sufferings, mortifying the deeds of the flesh. When we don't feel like reading, man, no, 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 let me, let, let me get a couple chapters in. When I don't feel like watching this lesson, man, no, let me cut this bullshit off that I've been watching for the last however long. When you tired as hell and you just, man, let me just go to sleep. No, nah, man, send up that prayer real quick, man. You know? It says, but if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing that I say. And what's that? That's that incorruptible crown, right? Let's go back. First Timothy 4 and 13. It says, till I come, give attendance to reading to exhortation, to doctrine. It says give attendance to. It says to bring to, bring near. To turn the mind to. Attend to, be attentive. To apply oneself to. Attach oneself to. Hold or cleave to a person or thing. Who to be given or addicted to. Who? What did it, hey, 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 what did it tell us, man? Here in, um... See, those guys are addicted to basketball. <laughs> you know, these guys within a within uh, profession, they're addicted. They love to do what they do. How much more us, man? How much more should we, knowing the vic or, 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 or knowing the reward at the end that's waiting upon us, man? Right? But this 1 Corinthians 16. And 15, it says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints, man. 
to a point, to a sign, to arrange in an orderly manner that is a sign or dispose. You know? So what, man? They 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 they, they set they set their mind to get things right and in order with with, with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Same thing our apostles, man. They addicted themselves to the ministry in order to, uh, for what? To get the uh, 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 the household of the Lord in order, man. It tells us that in the book of Sirach, right? See, see this, 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 this word is not written for any old Israelite, man. This is the book of uh, Sirach, the prologue. Now, I can't click, you know, on um, the part I want, so I'll just put this over you know where i'm gonna start at um i'm gonna start here right below it, it says my grand my grandfather joshua when he had given himself when he had much given himself to the reading of the law and the prophets and other books of our fathers going back to what we just read in timothy give attendance apply your mind to turn your your mind to reading exhortation and doctrine right so it says when he had much given himself to the reading of the law and the prophets and other books of our fathers, he had gotten and had gotten therein good judgment. How did he get good judgment? By by by, by uh, uh, turning his heart, his mind towards these precepts, man. Was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom. And it's the same thing as us. It speaks about how a wise man will hear a, a, a wise word and he addeth unto it. So it's the same thing as us through the spirit, man. We study, we get this knowledge, right? We look up words, link up the precepts, and then what, man? We are moved to put something on wax ourselves, right? It says, to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted to these things, might profit much more in living according to the law, man. So that's what we do these lessons for, man. <laughs> that's why we write these electronic epistles. It's for those who are desirous to learn and who are addicted to these things uh, um, so that they can uh, live and walk to the best of their ability in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah so that we may be found blameless and without spot, man. Like it says in the book of 2 Peter, the third chapter, seeing that we look for the destruction of this present evil world. Well, what manner of men are we to be? How, how should we move and conduct ourselves? Let's go back, though. 1 Timothy 4 and 13. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Exactly. It says neglect not the gift that was in us, man. What's that gift? The gift of faith. We got to cultivate that faith. What do Yahweh Shah tell us, man? Faith is as a, a, a mustard seed. It says faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word. Well, the, 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 the word is likened unto a seed. The, uh, the parable of the sower. Where Yahweh Shah spoke about, you know, falling on good ground, falling on the wayside, falling among storms, falling on stony ground. Well, we hope to be what on that on, on that good ground, man. But guess what? We can't leave it unattended. We got to continue to to break up the fallow ground so the roots can go deep into the ground, man. You know, we got to continue to water that plant and nourish it and take care of it so that it can sprout and grow. And then what if it got excess twigs or if it got parts on it that, that, that that's not producing? We got to cut those parts off. We got to prune it. <laughs> we got to take care of our, our, our tree of faith, man. And that's our spirit. Because the Lord gifted it unto us. So what are we doing with that gift? How are we moving with it? You know, a nigga, man, a nigga uh, be gifted something and he a fucking, uh, you know, jagged. You come back two weeks later, you'd be like, bro, where that gift I gave you? Oh, man, it's, it's, it's. You'd be like, God damn, you don't appreciate nothing, man. We can't be like that. You know? It says, till I come, 
Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, meaning the body of elders. Meditate upon these things. And that's a key thing too, man. We got to meditate upon these words. And hey, that's a part of our culture. That's a part of our heritage. That's a part of our custom. If I, if I was to type in meditate or meditation, eh, matter of fact, let's just do that. Eighteen verses would meditate, right? Genesis twenty four sixty three. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. Joshua one and eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Psalms 1 and 2, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. Psalm 63 and 6, when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Psalm 77 and 12, I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Psalms 119, 15, I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. You see? So, so this is a part of our this is part of our custom, our heritage. Meditation, right? And then nine verses, right? Psalms 5 and 1 to the chief musician upon Nihaloth, a psalm of David. Give ear to my words, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Consider my meditation. Psalms 19, 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, my strength and my redeemer. Man, come on now. Psalms 49 and 3, my mouth shall speak of wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Look, look, you see? Psalms 119 and 99. Matter of fact, 97. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation, man. So it says meditate upon these things. That's a part of it. You know, you might just read something, man, and, and sit back and, and let it marinate within your spirit. Or you might just watch the lesson. You might just ha have to sit back and, and go over those notes, man. Meditate upon those notes, upon those precepts. Meditate, meditate upon a statement that a brother made, man. You got to let these things sit. You know? Says meditate upon these things. Give J Jake treat this truth like 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 it's a a, a damn pop tart or something, man. This truth ain't, ain't this 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 is a a home cooked meal. In Proverbs the the ninth chapter it says what she have uh, um slain her beast, she have mingled her wine, she has furnished her table. In the ancient world, bro, a, a meal wasn't just prepared like that. You had to go slaughter the beast. You had to skin it. <laughs> You had to cut it up. You had to you had to season it. Enough. You had to do all those things. Well, this is how this meal is prepared. If you're looking for a, 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 a ready, a hot and ready, fucking easy bake oven or whatever the hell, man. Hey, this ain't for you, man. This thing is about uh, um, you know effort and time and carefulness, man. Say no fucking McDonald's, you just pull up. But anyway, it says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So here it is, man. These niggas in the world, man. They don't give they don't give two fucks about Israel or about Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, but yet they're showing forth more discipline, passion, and dedication to something that's 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 temporary, man. But here it is to a man that's supposed to be in the faith, to a man that believes in eternity, he's half assing. Nah, that should not be. You know? That's why uh, 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 um, Paul told us what? Study to show ourselves approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. When you go into that word, rightly divide is what? Directly and correctly. 
right? So that we can uh, edify ourselves first and foremost, so that we may know how to please the Lord and that we may know how to guide the next person in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's why Peter told us this. Second Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. What things, man? If we give, give diligence, matter of fact, I should have started up. Let's start at verse 4. It says, matter of fact, it says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shahamashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith. Once again, neglect not the gift. See, if you if you know that this gift, this gift of faith is precious, you wouldn't neglect it. Once again, that's why these words ain't, ain't, ain't for all Israel, <laughs> you know, it says like precious faith, equally precious, equally honored to be esteemed of equal value or honor like precious, man. It's a good compound word. A value by which the price is fixed. Honor which belongs or is shown. Reverence. Woo. Dignity. Honor. Precious, man. You know? It says, uh, but it says, who obtain like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh Shahamashiach. So they esteem this, this, this faith. They esteem the word. They cherish what's been given unto us. They reverence what's been given unto us. That's what he is. Uh, that's why Paul wrote and, and, and spoke about guys who um, who eat the Lord's uh, supper, which he, which he was talking about partaking in the Passover. But this word is a Passover as a whole, you know. So applying it to to this word as a whole, you got guys that's partaking within Yahweh Shah's suffering, man, irreverently, without fear. And Jude said, "What? There are spots in the feast, man." You see, so the Lord don't take kindly to that, man. But it says to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh HaMashiach, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Most High and our and of Yahweh Shah, our Lord. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, man, giving all diligence, says earnestness, earnestness in accomplishing, promoting or striving after anything to give all diligence, interest, oneself, most earnestly and when you just look up simple right look up let's look up earnestly Ooh, -ooh, -ooh. look at that with sincere and intense conviction seriously says solemnly gravely soberly intently firmly Ardently, fervently, zealously. Once again, uh, uh, what's that? Um, peculiar, zealous of good works. Let me hold this on deck. <laughs> KG said, man, that killed me when I heard he ain't touched the rock. Look how zealous he is for basketball, man. It should be the same way in our spirit times 10. As it says in the book of Baruch, it was our mind to go astray now being returned, seek him 10 times more. We should have 10 times more the passion, the faith, the commitment, the discipline than these niggas, man. This is Titus 2 and 14. It says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works, man. You see, on fire for this, man. But verse five again, and besides this, giving all diligence, giving all fervency, giving all zealousness, 
add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge into knowledge temperance into temperance patience into patience godliness hey that hey, there go that temperance again we read that in first corinthians 9 he's temperate in all things right it says in and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity and guess what we start over and repeat the cycle man continue to add that's why he wrote um the third chapter he ended he ended the uh the the, the letter by saying grow in grace and in knowledge of our lord yahweh shah but it says verse eight for if these things be in you and abound they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, see, we, we, we ain't blind like them niggas. We can't move like them. Wherefore the rather give diligence, <clears throat> give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. You see that? So, you know, I just wanted to speak on a couple, you know, a few words, man. You know, I came across that clip, and, you know, and, and, and it moved my spirit. <laughs> you know, it, it, it moved my spirit. So, hey, Lord will, I hope this was edifying, encouraging, you know, um, uplifting through the uh, through the spirit. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm gonna give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and the sincerity, always in charity. Hey, shalom.